That's the age old question, what does DTCC do? Um, they say no one knows, but I think there's a lot of people here who do know exactly what we do. I think it was an experiment that was formed in, in chaos. I always think there should be a Forbes or Fortune article or Wall Street Journal article about the most important company you've never heard of. The world at large and 99.9% .9 of the people of the United States don't appreciate what they have in this organization. Well, DTCC, you know, in many ways acts as an anchor for the industry. In my own words, DTCC provides innovative solutions to the financial market. I guess one word that comes to mind is stability. It's the infrastructure, it's the backbone of the entire financial structure. We're like the U.S. mail, we've got to perform seven days a week. DTCC exists to drive the inefficiencies out of the system. My first day, I was taken out by uh, the CFO, Ellen Levine, who uh, I had known previously because I had been on the board. And uh, she said, you, th you think you're going to join a company that's going to be boring. You will never be bored. There will always be something going on that will be exciting or different. And she was absolutely correct. I was actually there during the paperwork crisis of the 1960s, right? I, I actually started my career on Wall Street at that time. And I actually saw what life pre-DTC, pre-DTCC was like. You know, it's it's is gonna sound very strange to younger people at the company, but actually the very first uh, change to the settlement cycle that I lived through was actually making the settlement cycle longer because we needed more time to cope with all the paperwork. And there was this tsunami of volume coming at us. Uh, you had prestigious named brokerage firms collapsing under the weight of all that volume. It was in that crisis that DTCC as an organization, its predecessors obviously, uh, was born. And, it, and I remember years later, one of the senior executives commenting that they really loved being at DTCC when there was a crisis on, that it was really when we were at our absolute best. So my first day at DTCC, there was one mandate, which was Y2K was coming. And Y2K was going to be the end of the world as we knew it. DTC and NSCC had been uh, in conversation for many years about how we were going to go forward together. There were ideas of merging the two companies. And that was sort of the, the first day at, um, at DTCC, realizing that we had to do Y2K, we had to merge DTC and NSCC, and we also had to bring about a cultural change. And people are very uncomfortable with change. I wasn't asking them just to change, I was asking them to embrace change. DTCC had always executed flawlessly. I mean, it just, through, through any number of crises, it always did what it was expected to do. Obviously, one of the you know most vivid memories of the time you're talking about um, was September 11th, uh, which was a heart-rending day. I was stuck in the subway on 9-11, so I came up a little late, didn't know anything had happened. Um, and there were just like groups of people like just milling around on, on Wall Street. And I turned my head and I saw the buildings aflame. That was a horrific, a horrific day. Our building faced the, uh, the Twin Towers and um, we had a staff meeting at 8.30 that morning and uh, it was Employee Appreciation Day. And one of the staff came in and said, a plane's just hit the World Trade Center. Then the second plane came right by our windows and hit the second tower. Papers were flying all over Wall Street and then the towers collapsed. So we had to make sure that everything continued to run. And so I just remember being very focused, um, very traumatized. We all were, the whole world was. Um, but with a goal that we need to make sure that DTC is ready because it was very important for the financial, for the world to make sure that DTC can support whatever needs to happen. The markets needed to open and, you know, we needed to be there to, to make that happen. And we did.
I remember being stunned at how how much our people were living up to the responsibility that they had. It was a horrendous time. It was probably one of the finest times for DTCC. Um, we showed our resiliency. We were able to continue processing. It was made blindingly clear the platinum that our people are made of. Certainly it was very, very clear in that moment. It was boom to bust. I joined in 2007, and then 2008 hit, and the world just turned around, you know, completely in a shocking moment, right? With the collapse of Lehman Brothers, with the collapse of Bear Stearns, the whole mortgage default. I mean, everybody remembers what happened then. And Lehman Brothers, obviously, it was the biggest bankruptcy anybody had seen in the world, and in, obviously in the financial markets. You know, it's one of the sort of less told stories is we, in 2005, we kind of, the senior management team kind of realized, you know, gee, uh, and this is gonna sound crazy, <laughs> but the senior management team realized, you know, we haven't had a participant fail on us any recently. And we decided, you know, we actually should rehearse. So we actually started, we stepped up the pace of doing our exercises and we would do simulations of people failing and to just kind of go through and okay, well, what are, where are the weak points? So we actually simulated the failure of Lehman two months before it actually happened. Um, and we actually kind of understood the issues that we were gonna be presented with. It was the first time I really saw saw them in crisis, them being my colleagues, the staff, everybody at DTCC, and people just, they just showed how good they were. And I think what I came away with was of just a much deeper appreciation of the expertise and the knowledge people had, and their ability to apply it in the most stressful periods of time, and to maintain the composure and, and, and deal with the stress. Sandy was interesting because again, it was a situation where you saw it coming. I mean, you knew the storm was gonna hit. But most of us did not think, I mean, the, the forecasts were such that it was gonna be bad, but nobody expected what happened, obviously, with the, the tidal surge and whatnot. And, you know, there's the vault. And we opened it up, and I guess the only way I could describe it is take a big, big washing machine, throw in the New York Times, you know, Sunday edition in, turn it on and see where the paper goes, and the paper was everywhere. Paper was on the ceiling, paper went wrapped around pipes on the floor, it's sticky, it's oily, you're, you're literally using flashlights and uh, whatnot to try to see. And it was a, oh my God, what do we do now? I remember Hurricane Sandy, uh, the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, where the whole management committee was working out of one room. Um, people that worked in securities processing were just having this horrific recovery time. People walking around in hazmat suits and freeze drying certificates and all that stuff that had to be done to, to recover. No one let the pressure really get to them. I mean, everyone was feeling it, but it wasn't manifested itself. It had not manifested itself. I saw it uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy where the company really, really, really coalesced around a common set of goals that had to be accomplished. The move to T2 was uh, something we just started discussing internally. DTCC always is looking to create efficiencies, always looking to lower risk for the industry. But we just felt the benefits far exceeded you know, the, the cost. So we did the study, we worked with SIFMA, we worked with the industry. DTCC had to take on T2. There's really no way around it. DTCC sits right in the middle of all that. So it was really a very concerted effort, but it was a huge a huge, a huge lift. And you got to sit there and say, there's not a lot of people who can say in their careers, they changed the market. They really fundamentally changed how people think and how people do things. And you did that, and you did it successfully. 
I'd say a very interesting period of time working at the company was um, early 2020 when the world went remote from COVID-19. I really did sit at, uh, at my apartment that first day working, kind of sitting there at the computer wondering, Will everything still happen? You know, are the securities processing people still able to do it? Is the custody withdrawals and deposits still happening? And, and everything did happen. What helped me and reinforced my position with DTCC during the pandemic is the fact that the management committee, um, you know, our, our leaders were very focused on the well-being of their employees, first and foremost, right? Yes, the work will get done, we'll figure out a way to do that, but making sure that everyone was safe. That's not just dedication, that's courage, right? And uh, amazing, amazing to see. Um, but it's just how people adapted. Every single person had a responsibility, but it wasn't like we had to sit there and say, well, don't forget to do this, this, this. They just intuitively knew what to do. This company really knows why it exists, who it exists for, and what it must do to meet the responsibilities it has. That's very unique. Com not every company knows that, but DTCC does. DTCC really is a family, and it's a bunch of people who really don't just care about the industry and the responsibility that they have, but also about each other. And they're always looking out to make sure that everybody's doing well, everyone's succeeding, and that's very, very special. I find there's a family culture, there's a caring, there's a support, and I think that's why some of us are here for so long. There are senior leaders at this company that are willing to learn from others. Um, that was very reassuring for me. It's a very purpose-driven culture, and you really see the subject matter expertise within our employees. It's impressive to, to be a part of it. You spend a lot of time at work, so when you like the people you work with, you like your managers that you work with, it makes all the difference. You need a vibrant, healthy culture in order to execute successfully on a strategy. And our culture of inclusiveness, diversity, purpose really will feed in to help our success over the next 25 to 30 to 40 to 50 years. DTCC as a company has a very healthy culture. It's one that promotes inclusivity. It's one that promotes fun while at work. Um, it welcomes every gender, every um, ethnicity. I was part of the leadership team for our Women's Employee Resource Group, WINS, which stands for the Women's Initiative for Networking and Success. Not only was I honored to be selected to be part of that, that initial leadership team, but it meant a lot to me. You know, being a female, being in finance, being driven and really being passionate about women's equality in the workplace. And it signaled to me the importance that the DTCC places on diversity and inclusion. We have participants from Singapore, from Manila, from our Wrexham office, from our London office. And it's, it's just been a really great opportunity to get to network and share similar challenges and, and advice, irrespective of where people are from a corporate title or functional title perspective. You know, you hear about like a lot of like companies, oh yeah, we support these things, you know, we promote them, but to work for a company that not only do they support them and they promote them, but they allow you to actually work on them. Our culture is one of diversity and inclusion, and that's critically important. We will hold fast to that because that will ensure our success. We're in the middle of so much transformational change, and we have a lot of things on our plate to make sure that not only we deliver for our members, but that we help improve the way the financial services industry functions. I remember saying, look, we're safe and sound, but you know, we also have to think about being innovative and, and more um, business focused. And people said, well, what do you want us to be? Do you want us to be safe and sound, or do you want us to be innovative and business focused? I said, I want you to do both. You know, every day we're seeing some new innovation that's changing our lives and seeing how that applies to um, capital markets and our mission here is, is what excites me. T1 is, is coming. Uh, we're in the early stages now of the SEC's proposal on Treasury clearing, which would be a dramatic change. So everyone in the organization um, is playing a part to make sure that we have a successful move, um, an efficient move to T1. We impact the entire financial services community. 
And that's a big responsibility. And what that means is, is we've got to continue to think ahead, not what's right in front of us, but what's around the corner. What are the potentials? What are the scenarios? And then begin to think about how we can make the industry better. It's really playing with the fundamental technology that will pave the path for the future. We're starting to do proof of concepts with artificial intelligence and potentially chatbot capabilities. So improving our own infrastructure, elevating our resiliency profile. I think DTCC will have a number of opportunities to continue to demonstrate our leadership in the industry and to grow. And the financial services industry is an incredible industry. It's constantly evolving. It's embraced technology in a way that other industries haven't. So I do think we as DTCC owe it to ourselves and ultimately all of our members and the financial services industry at large to make sure we are looking at new technology, taking advantage of it, really thinking about how that technology can be employed to make the industry better and safer and more reliable. We are on a journey and 50 years is a huge milestone. But you know, companies that survive and evolve they have to keep looking forward. Don't forget, trust is our middle name. We've lived up to that trust for 50 years, and I have no doubt we're gonna be taking it just as seriously in the 50 years to come. I've been here since 2011. I don't believe I've ever seen more large things coming together at once. I would say that we will continue to stay true to who we are. They know they can trust us, they know they can depend on us, and they know we deliver, and we do. I can say pretty confidently that I see a path towards 50 more. DTCC will remain to be at the forefront to safeguard the security of the global financial market. It's more than just a company, it's, it's just where you want to be. If you look now, or we can only look as, as far as our imagination takes us at the moment. But um, that's the future, and the future is bright.